Would you get a microchip implanted in your hand for work? <laughs> More than 100 employees at a Swedish company named Epicenter are doing that, saying it streamlines office life. It's a <laughs> big move at an office that could change the way a lot of Americans work. A tech company in Wisconsin is offering to implant implant tiny microchips into its employees. Many of the employees, including the CEO, will voluntarily have the microchips implanted into their bodies. What did the employees say when you brought this idea to them? Half of them actually within five seconds says yes. Many are excited to give the new technology a try. I think it's kind of cool. Just pop it up there and it'll work. Just pop it okay. up there. It's that simple. So to give you a sense, here's a grain of rice. The chips will be inserted like this grain of rice right here between your thumb and your forefinger. And most of the employees have opted in. It is voluntary. One size fits all, I guess. <laughs> Microchips implanted in human bodies could transform the way we tackle many everyday tasks. Some workers in Sweden are already developing and volunteering, volunteering rather, to have chips injected into their hands. The technology can make some tasks easier and reduce the amount of personal items employees need to carry. A microchip implanted in his hand makes his life easier. It replaces all the keys and cards that used to clutter his pockets. I use this many times a day, for example, to unlock my smartphone. It felt pretty scary, but at the same time, it felt very modern. I love gadgets, and uh, now I kind of feel like I'm a gadget myself. The next generation of chips will save lives by monitoring health and fitness. I'm fascinated by this. I've, I've always thought it was the future, that it would carry your medical records, mm -hmm. that it could track your fitness, that it could that you could buy your groceries with it. Right, like an Apple Pay or something. I'm all in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm skeptical. I'm scared of becoming a cyborg, but if you guys go first, I'll join you. I know it's very futuristic. I get it. But I think, what's wrong with just taking out your card? But good for them. I think it's the, the wave curve. of the future that we'll all have implanted chips that have our medical records. So you would do it? Sure. Okay. Absolutely. You're carrying around a phone anyway. That, yeah. that You would do it too, Charlie, wouldn't you? Okay. I, I need to catch up. <laughs> Not need to catch up. Nope. Now some employees are actually getting microchipped. I can't wait till this starts here at CCO. About 150 workers at the Epicenter Startup Hub in Stockholm, Sweden, decided let's do it let's get this microchip it's about the size of a grain of rice so it's pretty small it doesn't right. hurt you barely feel it so you know you just go up you just stand by the thing and a it works wave. Yep. it was brilliant at first i was completely against it but you know i was thinking more about it and just the convenience of not having to carry anything to just walk up to a door it opens for you yep. just today i recently got a new phone and i realized how much i appreciate that thumbprint and how much i took it for granted because i could reset my settings and Sure. Four digit code. Oh my gosh, it took up so much time to do that. Four digits. Yes, that kind of time. And now I'm like, oh, what would I do without the thumbprint? Yeah. So now you're ready to go I'm the next of, step. I'm kind of ready for it. You know, this? let's see what other possibilities are out. It's great. You never have to worry about losing ID cards. You know, the for one security purposes. Security. It's fantastic. I actually uh, am intrigued by the mm -hmm. technology. The technology, and you think about all the things, especially like passwords. All the passwords you need to have. Mm -hmm. Or even you just could to have open a, your car if you forget your yeah. keys. Would you be willing? to implant something like this into your hands so you could maybe easily open doors at work or even log on to your computer? Oh, not if it's that big. No, Tell it's smaller. smaller. Our River Falls, Wisconsin company claims it's going to be the first in the country to implant microchips in most of its employees. A business in Wisconsin implanting microchips in its employees in the skin of their hands. So what are they tracking and would you say yes if your boss asked you to do the same? Industry experts forecast we could see these chips used by hospitals to store our medical records, even at airports to store that passport information. And that is just the beginning, David. Right in our hands? Right in our hands. Right. Microchip meant to make the workplace experience faster and more efficient. The implant, which has been FDA approved. Do you think this is the future? It is the future. This is the future. There is just as much interest from parents with young kids that want to be able to implant their children with a GPS chip. When I scan my hand at my door, uh, the lights will turn on that I want to come on and ACDC will start up with Hell's Bells. We have a lot of non-employees that are actually going to be implanted with a chip on Tuesday next week. Along with, uh, we've had calls from several hospitals and mm -hmm. about uh, over 20 businesses that are very interested in getting this chip. 
Would you be comfortable if the government or Amazon, same thing, I guess, did this to you? Well, they do it to the military right now. The government does, and it's a huge tactical advantage out on the uh, fields, uh, also with children. And we had a country call us regarding uh, kidnappings. They're having a problem. So okay. I guess it's the next thing. Okay. Experts say it won't be long until microchips are used as passports, driver's licenses, even to pay for things like public transportation. I wouldn't be the first to try it, but I think if a lot of people did it, I would do it. Implanted microchips may seem disturbing to a lot of people now, but maybe not for long. This won't be a big deal 5, 10, 15 years down the road. Melissa Timmons was skeptical, but is now chipped. Yeah, right now it's only to buy a candy bar and get in our building, but there's a lot more that's going to be, be coming with it. I was hesitant. What am I implanting into my body? And my kids were kind of the ones that got me excited. Did you feel it? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. It wasn't bad. In the future, we'll be able to use it as a passport. You can use it in public transportation as a form of payment. The latest innovation that's drawing worldwide attention. Pretty quick and easy. It really was. I didn't really feel anything, to be honest. In a lot of ways, it was easier than a shot. How much did that hurt? Didn't really hurt a lot. I think it's a step towards the future. The chips could eventually save lives. Somebody who's allergic to something or has a condition, they could scan your hand and all the information is there. Three Square Market is working with a Swedish company to embed the microchips in its employees. Everybody wants to know how big is it, right? In order to pay, they won't use a credit card. All they'll have to do is flick their wrist. The owner, Todd Westby, his wife and two children will also be getting microchip. The latest office innovation is a microchip implanted in the skin and designed to replace the traditional keypad for opening doors, using the copier, even buying food in the cafeteria. Implanting microchips in humans, it's a move that's meant to make people's lives more convenient at work. A company in Wisconsin is the first in the country to microchip its employees. Would you let your boss put a microchip in your body? Human microchipping. I'd love to have this conversation in maybe 10 years from now because like anything, mm -hmm. right? At first it's a foreign idea and then you talk about it enough and it becomes something that we're all so used to. Or something major will happen and then we'll all. Uh, it really is almost like the matrix. I know, you just walk up to your like, boop. I know. In. I, I don't know. Would you ever get it? I, you know what? I don't think so. At this yeah. point, a lot of our viewers had some really good points about you never know what's going to happen right now. Yeah. Very interesting. Thank you very much, Aaron. New advancements in the tech world has generated the question, would you get microchipped? A company in Minnesota will soon be offering employees the option to get a microchip implanted in their hand to streamline work life. Using ID badges at work may become a thing of the past, and microchip implants may become the future. This company says it's about to become the first in the U.S. to offer microchip implants to its employees. You heard that right. Microchip implants under the skin. It's the next thing that's inevitably going to happen, and we want to be a part of it. I'll hold my hand up, just like the cell phone, and uh, it will pay for my product. Instead of a credit card, Correct, hand. because my microchip is now my credit card. Okay, now, in case you're wondering, Lindsay, each one of these chips, it's about the size of a single it's grain tiny. of rice. It's tiny, just one little grain of rice. And now, get this, if you get one of these implanted into your hand and you want to get rid of it, you know how you do that? For real, they tell me you just pop it out. It's almost hard to believe. Did they offer you one? Uh, they did. They very much wanted me to come back next week when they're putting them in employees yeah. and get one. Still not sold, but I'm a little closer to being sold than I was when I walked in. Get that faster from the vending machine. Sure would. It takes just a few seconds, and Tony Danner is standing at a new frontier in technology. It feels pretty amazing. Having fielded inquiries from central banks and embassies to create security systems, it's quickly realizing the applications are limitless. Now, if like me, you're wondering how much pain is involved in this whole process, well, there's only one way to find out. Okay, Andy. It's about the same feeling as when a needle goes into your arm to give blood. Experts say implanting microchips into people is the way of the future, so refusing to do so may not even be an option at all. They're going to get microchips implanted in their bodies. These microchips are the way of the future and will help its employees with their daily routine. To allow employees to scan into the building or buy food at work. First in the country to offer microchip implants to 
its employee. To implant microchips in most of its employees. We live in a world of cash and plastic cards, whether paying for purchases or passing through a security door. Now some Wisconsin employees are leaving that world behind. Dozens of employees at a River Falls company took a leap into the future today. Wow, I remember talking about that a couple years ago. And yeah, here it is. It. <laughs> yeah, Woo, here it is. Amazing, yeah. One of the first companies to start chipping its employees on a large scale. The future is now, but do you want to jump on board? Why did you decide to do it? Because it's the right thing to do. It's, it's responsible innovation for things that are going to be happening in the future. We create self-checkout kiosks for prisons, for mm -hmm. inmates uh, okay. uh, to use within jails. From Biohack Sweden, who makes the chips and has a microchip himself. I mean, your, your phone is an active GPS, which is basically grown into your hand anyway. The benefits from it far outweigh the downside of it. This is strictly for convenience. You see, that would be a convenience, wouldn't it? Have some chip that you just pressed on something in the house and got it to do all yeah. the work. They've been chipped, buried in their hand. The chip can do tasks for them. It's entirely benign. Holly uses the chip in her hand to direct people to her web page. It can help because if someone's passed out on the floor, you have got no idea of their medical history, you can scan their hand and you've got all of their history, you've got all of their details. I think something like that is where this technology is going to go and it's, it's brilliant. And this is the size of the chip the biohackers have inside them. Would you want one? Well, currently today, I've programmed it to send you a text message. Tanya does. She's a tech expert at a university and believes it's really important to be a pioneer human with a chip. But in the future, these chips could be a bit more versatile, more powerful. I'm certain that this will be the natural way to add another dimension to our everyday life. Yeah, it's obvious. I mean, it's the next step, the next natural step for electronics is to move into the body. I want to be a part of the future. <laughs> That's why. Yeah. I saw this at a fair uh, once and got really excited because it's finally gotten to using it in movies and now it's uh, available for uh, common people. <laughs> That's it. Hopefully I can leave my keys at home and just keep this. <laughs> I usually lose a lot of things like my keys and everything, so this will give me access and uh, help me a lot more. Has a microchip implanted in both of his hands. Used his chip as a boarding pass on a recent flight from Stockholm to Paris. And to get into an airport VIP lounge a future where technology and the human form will merge. I think when it becomes more prevalent and there's a lot more things and options that you can do with this that people will you know opt in for that kind of augmented human sort of attitude. So the biggest benefit I think is convenience. It basically simplifies your life and that's why I think people find it interesting. Microchip implants are a popular way to keep track of pets. Now, some people are getting them, but for a different reason. Uses it to open his front door and manipulate his smartphone. And it turned off my ring. So instead of a key card at work. We don't want to carry devices. We want devices built into us. Radically improve humans through digital implants, even genetic manipulation. For now, a common procedure, implanting programmable RFID chips under the skin. Tiny implantable digital tattoos. They'll authenticate credit cards, track your location, even collect health data. An electronic tattoo. An electronic tattoo. So I, I'm wearing one here on my arm, and it has uh, an antenna and some sensors embedded in it. And what we plan to do is work with them to advance a tattoo that could be used for authentication. This pill has a small chip inside of it with a switch. It also has what amounts to an inside-out potato battery. When you swallow it, essentially your entire body becomes your authentication token. What this means is that that becomes my first superpower. I really want this superpower. It means that my arms are like wires when I touch my phone, my computer, my door, my car, I'm authenticated in first superpower. Like, I want that. Does Google now know everything I do and everywhere I go? Because, let's face it, Here, 
Can we, we like just, you guys, but you're from Google. Just give him some water and let him take so, that. So I, now, for most people, a key or a security pass is enough to get into the office, but now a Swedish firm is offering an alternative for workers. It's a microchip inserted into the hand under the skin. The choice of being chipped, which will then give them access to various of the services without you know, flashing an ID card. I looked at this, saw a few people using it and thought, what have I got to do? I've got to be chipped. <laughs> and here's what it happened. It became clear to you. I'm told it isn't going to hurt. Not quite as bad as I expected. I've just been chipped myself. Now you've been chipped yourself, where's your chip? Yeah, I have a chip right here which I use to access the entire office. So let's see if we can get into this particular This is uh, how I do it. Okay. No through. need for passcodes. It was a bit like you know, going to the doctor and having an yeah. injection. This phone, it actually reads the chip. Is this the way of the, f I mean, are we all going to go around with chips in us, uh, in, you know, say in 50 or 100 years time? Is that is the theory. When the tax man says, we want you chipped for the inland revenue, when Google and Facebook say, hey, wouldn't it be a good idea mm. for you to be chipped? Are you going to leave that in there? Uh, I, I'm pretty relaxed about it, but I've been augmented and I feel good about it. <laughs> well, that's fine. <laughs> Rory, thank you very much Thanks, indeed. Rory. Instead of having some clumsy device in my pocket, I just put my hand on the reader. If we help show people that this is really not that complicated, it's making our lives easier. The latest breakthroughs. Turns out one of the biggest discoveries is actually this tiny. See how small that is? This little chip may be the next big thing, and it sounds like it's right from a sci-fi movie, but people all over the world are implanting these into their wrists. So I asked my producer, Dean, to find out more about this cutting-edge technology and what it could mean for your health. We're so attracted to our devices that they're basically becoming a part of our bodies. But what if they really could become a part of our bodies? Well, guess what? They can. Meet the RFID microchip. With just one scan of your chip, doctors know your name, date of birth, medical history, insurance, blood type, allergies, even the medication you're taking. This chip in your wrist won't just change your life, one day it might just save it. And that's why this little RFID microchip is the next big thing. In order to see what the future of money looks like, I decided to live for a month I'm just paying for things with my phone. And somewhere along the line, I ended up getting a microchip implanted inside my hand. Any phone would recognize my hand as a Venmo app. <laughs> I would bet that in about 10 years, it's kind of abnormal to carry around a wallet that's just stuffed full of cash. Um, I got rid of cash um, for an entire month. I uh, didn't use any physical cards, so just digital means I found a guy who is chipping people in Sweden and I, I went over to Sweden and he did it. You're gonna see a new generation come up, get more used to this, and I think that, you know, that generational change will really make the difference. Brooke likes this idea, which tells you a lot about Brooke. Listen to this story. Okay, so if you forgot your ticket to a, a game, a soccer game in Argentina, it's not a problem because you can use the microchip that's been embedded under your skin. I'm not really thinking about it in terms of sports as much as I would love to put one in my kids. <laughs> Just to know where they I, I are? Know, like, I know it's creepy and really futuristic, mm -hmm. but I, my dog has one. Right. And she ran away and ended up, like, so we live downtown, and she ended up, like, in Harlem. Mm -hmm. And they, somebody did deliver her to a, a facility, a, a place, and they scanned her, and then they found us. And I honestly am not completely against chipping my children. Have you, have you proposed this to the girls? I, I, I haven't. No, I thought I would do it in their now sleep. They, now they know. <laughs> I would, I would put it. Just, mom, uh, yeah, yeah. mom, what just was that? Oh, I don't know. Sleep. It's a mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's something about it. You're going to be programming right. them to eat their vegetables with a button. It's going to happen, though. Yeah. You can have a microchip implanted in your thumbs, making wallets a thing of the past, sure so you don't have to worry about leaving them behind. I've got a small implant about the size of a grain of rice. Can I, I feel it? a bit hard to say. Yep. Um, you can push it around well, you a bit. You can really feel it. Main reason I've got it is to interact with technology. So uh, I've got my phone and I can interact with it and I can change the information that goes onto it. Geofence off the nursing home. Mm. So if that person left, it would notify someone and then tell them where they might be. These are the types of things you can do. So there's, you can put your Wi-Fi password on. So if someone yeah. comes to your house, they can mm. tap on. Um, there's things like launching applications, GPS coordinates. That's another feel of it. It's there quite you go. amazing. It's <laughs> it is really cool. Well, microchips have been a blessing to pet owners looking for a lost cat or a dog, but what do you think about the same kind of chip being implanted into people or husbands? Your co-hosts, <laughs> over the last few years there's been a rise in human microchip implants. Welcome to the world of human microchipping. 
it's been a decade since you you did this and and we can see the microchip is just here yeah in, a little in, over in, 11 yeah, years just do that so, shandy what was your reason to uh to do this well, to me, it seemed pretty logical. My husband actually had them. I wanted one too, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. seems logical. I lose my keys all the time. In the bottom I, of your handbag, right? Yeah, all the time. Hate yeah. that. Okay. How's it revolutionised your lives? How, like, how, how has it made a difference, really? The amount of stress that I've saved uh, in, in 11 years has been great. Would you ever do it, Larry? I'll do it right now. <laughs> I'll do it right I now. Him up. Yeah, Have your friends gone, yeah, I'm going to do that too. Is it, yeah. is it catching on? Yeah, well, we actually started a business. All of our friends, entrepreneurial um, colleagues as such, they all wanted one too. So, yeah, so we just were like... Heaps of people have got this. Yeah. When are we all just going to have one of this and th th this, and it will be the way that we live? Do you see that happening in 5, 10, 20 years? Where, where are we going? Yeah, as, as applications become more accessible, it's going to become more common. Fantastic. I okay, love thank it. Thank you. I love it. You get it done first, and I'll see how you go. All right. For more information on Chip My Life and RFID, yeah, microchip implants, did I say that right? Yeah, just head to our website. Using public transport. Using public transport. Getting access to buildings. Getting access to buildings. And paying for coffee. And paying for coffee. Is now as simple as a touch of your hand. Is now as simple as a touch of your hand. A microchip implanted beneath the skin. A microchip implanted beneath the skin. Gives people the same capabilities as dozens of cards and devices. Gives people the same capabilities as dozens of cards and devices. And it's not as painful as you might think. And it's not as painful as you might think. The microchip also has the potential to save lives. This technology also has the potential to save lives. Personal medical data can be loaded onto the device like blood type and allergies and accessed in emergencies. Steve has loaded medical data onto the chip in his hand. So if he was found unconscious, all you'd need to do is get a phone, tap it on his hand, and you'd have access to medical data like his blood type as well as any allergies he has. Are being microchipped to simplify their lives. These Aussies say they're being microchipped to simplify their lives. Which will connect to my work pass, um, which will allow me access to my office to use the printer, to use the scanner. We won't need any ID cards, we won't need any PIN codes, access cards or anything so we can live a much sort of freer life. Data from your bank card, payment method, building swipe, LinkedIn profile or medical history is cloned onto the chip which is implanted in the hand. I can pay, open doors and have my business card in there as well. So it's been used for years and years in cats and dogs. We're currently going for the hoops to get this approved for human use. Once that's done, it sort of opens the floodgates to have everyone chipped and opening doors, starting their car, et cetera, et cetera, which I think is really exciting. So the process is really quick and easy. Because we've got a doctor involved, we can anaesthetise your hand, so it's completely pain-free. It's like getting ear piercing, around 30 seconds, popped in, done. The first in the world to begin using microchips that sit underneath the skin as train tickets. It's under my skin. OK, here comes the ticket officer. This is our chance to see if that works. The microchip holds this number, and when the inspector scans the chip, the ticket comes up in her validation app. Microchip implant to replace a lot of stuff. I mean, um, your credit cards, your, your, your key, the keys to your house, the keys to your car. It happens in seconds. Moms and dads, you know that feeling. Your child gets lost in a store, maybe just wanders off for a second or two. Your heart stops, though. Panic sets in, and you think the worst. It's happened to most of us, but what if you had a secret weapon, an extra layer of safety, so to speak? How far would you go to keep your children secure? Would you be willing to microchip them? Experts tell us the technology already exists. Turns out one Bay Area mother is all for it, and she shared her story with our Melanie Michael. Hey guys, good evening to you both. You know, chances are if you have a four-legged family member at home, it's already microchipped. And if the technology exists to save Fido in an emergency, what about microchipping your child? Before you say, no way, I would never do that, hear one mom's story. It's the longest two seconds of your life, and it's absolute panic. I want my son back. 
We've seen it in movies. This is my daughter! Over and over again, children gone missing. It's terrifying. For Stephanie Rodriguez Neely, life is busier than ever with four children, including a newborn. She knows scary situations can happen in an instant. And for her, it has. If it'll save my kid, um, there's, there's no step that's too extreme. Stephanie's teenage daughter is a special needs child, prone to wander off and trust strangers. For that very reason, Stephanie wholeheartedly welcomes microchipping a child. If a small chip the size of a grain of rice could have prevented a tragedy, I think most parents, you know, hindsight would have said, I wish I would have done it. A well-known technology expert out of Boston tells us microchipping poses little to no health risks and would act as a barcode of sorts. Without question, it could save a life, uh, reunite a family, uh, find a missing Alzheimer's patient. I always tell people, as long as you're doing what you feel is best for your child, you're not really wrong. And guys, this is what we're talking about, the microchip. I don't know if you can see it in my hand. It's the size of a grain of rice, very, very small. And the expert that we spoke with actually tells us that barcodes were introduced in the late 1960s. And back then, people thought, uh, this is way too invasive and too weird. And now barcodes are so commonplace that we don't even think about them anymore. The expert tells us this will happen sooner rather than later. You can bet somewhere, someday, someone is going to pull this off. And we could see those microchips in everyone. That's interesting to think about. Melanie Michael live in Tampa. Thank you for that report. Placing a microchip under the skin to get you in your door, to start your car, or maybe give your doctor your medical history. Or what if your child were to disappear? Would you be willing to place a chip in your child if it might help them bring them home? Barry Davis recently looked into what all this technology is about and the possibilities of this science. The technology which could help bring those children home and that technology was no bigger than a grain of rice. Elliot! Oh gosh. <laughs> He's on the swings. <laughs> oh hi. <laughs> yeah, that scared me. It's something most every parent has felt. That sick panic. You're watching your child play, having fun. You turn your head for just a moment and they're gone. My stomach drops, I feel nauseous and dizzy, and I imagine all of the horrible things that could happen. Tris um, Dickerson is the mother of a rambunctious three and a half year old who has no fear of anything or anybody. And it, it scares me. It scares me so much. Someone would just be like, hey, I have candy. And he'd be like, heck yes, candy. We've been microchipping our pets for years. So why not use that technology to protect something far more precious? It's only a matter of time before people realize how beneficial it could be. And not just for convenience, but in what literally could be a life-saving instance. I might be one of those moms in a heartbeat. I think I'd have them chipped just so I would feel safer. We will finally complete the biometric entry exit visa tracking system, which we need desperately. We will ensure that this system is in place. And I will tell you, it will be on land, it will be on sea, it will be in air. We will have a proper tracking system.